hello traders and welcome to another video review today is first day last day of august 2023 let's find out what's going on on the forex economic calendar today Industrial production data and retail sales data from Japan had been published overnight. As you can see, they, um, the mixed bag of data, they are industrial production way below the um, uh, forecast and the retail sales way better than the uh, forecast in, in Japan. Business confidence uh, in New Zealand uh, deteriorates even further um, from uh, minus 13 to minus 3.7. A little bit better than, than the last reading, however, way worse than the forecast of minus 1.9. Um, data from the Australia um, are in form of private new capital expenditure and private sector credit. Uh, mixed bag of data, sector credit 0.3% in line with the expectations. New capital expenditure, 2.8%, uh, which is lower than the uh, last uh, reading. German retail sales are uh, on the very same level as it were, as it were uh, last uh, month, minus 0.8%. And at the 9 um, o'clock, uh, ECB uh, Schnabel will give a, a speech uh, um, to the public. And then 15 minutes later, Bank of England MPC member Pill will give a speech as well. Five minutes to ten, a German unemployment change and unemployment rate are scheduled for release. Um, at 11 o'clock, we got data from the Euro Eurozone in form of the CPI, one of the most important data releases for today. Unemployment rate and the core uh, CPI together with the um, account of the monetary policy meeting minutes. So uh, plenty of data from the Eurozone uh, today. Um, core PCE price index from the US is scheduled for release at half past two, uh, together with the pri price uh, PCE price index and the personal uh, spending. Uh, initial jobless claims are scheduled for release as well at half past two, together with the current account this time from the Canada. Chicago PMI is scheduled for release uh, quarter to uh, four, and then you know, we have the ECB the Guido's uh, speech at six o'clock. At seven o'clock, we got German Buba Balz a speech, and then 30 minutes past 10, we got the Fed's balance sheet because it's the end of the month. So, pretty intense day in terms of the data releases, speeches, comments, and of course, the uh, other very important uh, data scheduled for release CPI and Corp uh, PCE price index and initial jobless claims are one of the most important ones uh, for today. Now, uh, for Thursday, let's take a look at the uh, technical part and let's just uh, jump straight on to the euro dollar. For our chart of the euro dollar, uh, looks um, very up about the RSI hit the level of the uh, 70 and now it's uh, moving a little bit lower it looks like uh, it's a kind of a pullback the local high was made at 1.0946 uh, we got some sort of the pin bar here then we got a pause inside bar and then bearish um, um, bearish pattern uh, on a on a four-hour chart bearish engulfing to be to be precise and we should now move a little bit lower towards 1.0893 and the uh, uh, 100 periods moving average uh, dynamic support as well. So very nice bounce of the euro dollar. The price range of this bounce was uh, 1.67, uh, so it's not that bad. Nevertheless, it's time for the um, uh, for the correction or for the pullback, and this is what we do um, right now on the uh, on the euro dollar because um, there was some data from the. Uh, from the Australia, so let's uh, New Zealand. Sorry, let's now take a look um, at the New Zealand dollar. So we need what? Uh, I think daily time frame chart would be good. There you go. So the daily time frame chart of the New Zealand dollar is showing us very big pin bar here. Uh, the spin bar was made yesterday and we are still struggling uh, 
uh, with any upside movement because the 5980 technical resistance has been uh, tested and the market was rejected from this uh, from this level so we will still uh, trade uh, soon around the minimum of this range which is of course uh, located uh, somewhere around 5,881 uh, pips. So pretty solid technical resistance and then the 50 periods moving average uh, has capped the bounce from the extremely oversold market conditions and now uh, the market price action might be mm, considered uh, as a range trading market that is closed inside of this of this range unless some very uh, dynamic and aggressive move to the upside uh, will uh, happen sooner or later um, the other technical resistances in case of a breakdown um, the breakout to the uh, to the upside uh, they are uh, 5000 sorry 6045 pips uh, eventually and then if we if we make it to the to the upside the we can uh, surely say that 6128 is the next uh, technical resistance just below 100 periods moving average the momentum is negative the momentum is weak the bulls are trying to bounce but so far they actually do not manage to to bounce any uh, any higher than being capped and might be going lower let's now uh, take a look at the us dollar index uh, so we can have a look on the four hour chart of the us dollar uh, strength and as you can see we talk about it last time we got the local high and the swing high um, made at the level of 104.42 uh, so this is the red line because it's technical resistance right now uh, the trend line uh, that was seen here as a very very nice um, very very nice uh, trend line for the uh, for uh, for the bulls because they were bouncing up up on it had been violated then it was tested here and then the the movement to the downside was extended the low was made at 102.91 now the market is trying to bounce let's just uh, take a look at the current situation market is trying to bounce However, the 50 period, 100 periods moving average is um, located at 103.25 and it's right now preventing the market to move uh, any, uh, any higher. Uh, we got as well the uh, technical resistance 103.24. So pretty solid, um, pretty solid resistance is here. The extremely oversold conditions has not been hit yet so there is still a room um, to the downside so if we um, if we let's say um, reverse from the current level then of course we can go lower where is the next target the next target it looks like this level here might uh, might act as the next target for uh, for bears 102.79 yes it's pretty solid uh, technical uh, support uh, for the market so we should see some sort of the deterioration lower uh, here as there is still the room to the uh, downside on the US dollar index so US dollar index is going right now it's bouncing which is why the euro dollar and the British pound might go a little bit lower nevertheless um, this bounce should be terminated uh, soon and the market should continue their correction to the downside let's now take a look at the bitcoin uh on the four hour chart what what's happened after the after the breakout uh, to the upside so what do we have here is of course the breakout and this level here 20 mm, 26779 has not been tested barely 100 periods moving average has been hit but it is still not what we expected um, here we want a deeper correction hefty collection to test this level and then eventually uh, eventually bounce so we are still waiting for this market to move lower the momentum is still uh, strong and positive 61 points so there is still room to the downside however uh, what's supposed to happen on rsi is, is that the uh, rsi should hit the level of 50 and then bounce together with the rsi 
the market should bounce from the technical support and move higher otherwise uh, this spike to the upside will be considered considered as the one of spike that doesn't actually um, matters in the overall uh, upside uh, trend development it was just a kind of a uh, in that situation it was just a kind of a spike to the upside uh, after the uh, positive news uh, reaction so please keep an eye on the current uh, tech, uh, important technical support uh, level because it might be tested anytime soon. That's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.